How's it going guys? Rhino here and I'm bringing you another vlog type video where I want to be showing you the new custom PC that I built with my friend. Uh, yesterday I tweeted out a picture saying like finally get to build this or whatever because the, the last the parts came in my friend came over and we spent the time building it. I was going to do a time lapse but I realized that that wouldn't really work out especially because the lighting was terrible where we did it. So yeah I also wanted to show you really quickly this is all what I did with the foam padding. So this my room's a mess by the way and I apologize but so I started at the door and worked well I started over here and worked my way towards the door. That door right there leads to my bathroom so I don't have any reason to cover that up. And it's far enough away where it wouldn't really affect the audio. Um, the only wall that I would really consider is doing the wall directly behind my computer. By the way, that's the view outside my uh, apartment. I had a better view last year, but we moved down. So, uh, Yeah, the beginning of last year. We moved down, so I kind of just see buildings now, which isn't that great. But yeah, so I, it goes all the way to the, wall, the end of the wall there, where my whiteboard is and my desk is. It goes down about a foot and a half. Two feet, two feet off the ground maybe, and then it goes kind of close to the ceiling. So that was a lot of pads used. I want to say like 60 or 62 pads were used for that. But let's get right to the computer. So this is what it looks like. This is just the monitor. This is a monitor that I already had. I used it for a dual setup with, I had my laptop here and then set up my monitor here. The lighting looks really bad for some reason. Can you adjust? There we go. Yeah, so I had my laptop here and then the monitor there. And I just used the monitor for this because I didn't want to buy another one yet. So this is my desk. You think you can see my keyboard, but that's actually under. So this is the keyboard tray. My desk is uh, glass, so you can see through, which is pretty cool. And uh, so that's my keyboard. I've showed you guys that headset over there, my mouse there, my light stand. So here is the beast. Mind the, or don't mind the pack of gum that has been sitting there for a long ass time. Uh, so this is what it looks like on the inside. It, I, I like having that window there. It looks pretty cool. I don't really have, I mean, I can, if, if it's highly requested, I can post the specs of it and everything, like what went into this baby, but it, it it's pretty cool. I currently have it connected to a uh, USB hub, which is right there so that I can plug in my mouse keyboard and then my amazing microphone. But that's my PC. However, I have a question for uh, anyone watching who is good with computers. So I don't know, I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, right in here, no, you can't see it, it's too dark. I apologize for that. But essentially I have a solid state drive in there with 500 gigs of space. So 500 gigabyte solid state drive and that's my primary drive and then I also have a secondary hard uh, hard disk drive with two terabytes of space but so I, both of those are plugged in but when I go on my computer and go to for example computer I only see my local disk the 500 gigabyte solid state I don't see the two terabyte hard drive so if anyone knows uh, a, a solution to that what could possibly be causing that to, to just not be seeing my my hard disk drive that would be great because I really would like to be able to use those two terabytes of space I didn't spend that money for nothing <laughs> uh, and then also I have a secondary problem so I, I got two games um, I downloaded uh, it's I downloaded Maple Story for one because I just was bored and wanted to try it out while I was doing some other stuff so I downloaded where is it? Right here. Maple Story. And then also I got a free version of Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. I've only tried it on these two games, but it's the exact same problem on both. And these are two very different games, so I'm not sure why I would be getting the exact same problem on both. But essentially what happens is when I open Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, it would load and then go to the main menu and then it would minimize completely. It would just minimize and it would be down here in the tray. I'd click on it, it would come up black, like the screen would be black, and then it would minimize again. It would keep doing that every single time. I looked up a fix for it and I had to go into the setting, I had to go into the properties file for this and change it to windowed mode. Um, and it was set on full screen. So for some reason the full screen version wasn't working. With MapleStory, 
I downloaded it and it worked and I started playing in full screen and everything but the resolution was horrible and so I upped the resolution to it wasn't it wasn't even like 1280 by 720 it was less than that but it was already full screen however after I up, upped it it just stopped working and it started minimizing just like the Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. And now I can't even run MapleStory because for some reason I can't go into the settings until I'm in the game and when I'm in the game that's when it minimizes. I'm not too worried about fixing this issue because I don't really play MapleStory. I just wanted to have it on there because it's a free game that maybe if I was bored I could play. Uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, I wanted to record for you guys because I thought it'd be a fun game to play, well it is a fun game to play, but it's in windowed mode and my recording software, Dexatory, does not work well with windowed mode because it cuts off a section of the screen on both sides. And so I wanna know if you guys know a fix for this issue, what could possibly be causing me to not be able to update, or <coughs> sorry, me not be able to do full screen on these games. And I saw a potential fix which was going to uh, control panel device manager and updating my, um, here, let's, updating my, what is it, display adapter. So updating my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070, update driver software. But when I do this, it, I mean, I'm probably not gonna wait for it to load, but it says it's completely up to date. That was the only fix I could find and it still doesn't work. So yeah, if you guys have any potential fixes for this, please let me know. I really love this computer and it's really powerful. I know I built it correctly because my friend is the one who helped me build it and he has built multiple PCs before. Um, so if you guys have any advice, uh, that would be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.